Hey everybody, my name's Long and I'm from Pomona, California and I've snuck away from my wife and two kids into the driver's seat of my car because I want to talk to you guys about this special little watch here. So this is a Seiko Quartz watch from 1979 and it was a watch that my dad purchased when he was a refugee in Hong Kong. So in 1975, Vietnam fell and my dad along with his fellow South Vietnamese soldiers had two choices uh, go into hiding or flee the country and my dad actually did both he was able to lay low for three to four years and then the opportunity came up for him to uh, to leave his homeland the only home he had ever known and uh, he took advantage of the opportunity and he got on a boat and survived about a week at sea, dodging pirates, uh, starvation, dehydration, and he made it safely to a refugee camp in Hong Kong. And while he was there, he was waiting to see where he'd be able to start a new life, and uh, while waiting, he was able to secure a few odd jobs, and through those odd jobs, he saved up a little bit of money, and uh, what's funny is instead of saving up that money, for his new life, he decided to uh, reward himself a little bit and he decided to buy this state-of-the-art Seiko quartz watch. He paid a hundred dollars for it, never regretted it, and next thing you know, he hops on a plane, leaves Hong Kong with this bad boy on his wrist, lands in America for the first time with the watch on his wrist, and uh, he wore the hell out of that watch. And unfortunately, one day he lost it. And when I was about four or five years old, my mom told me a story about that watch. She talked about how ridiculously expensive it was, $100 back in the day, uh, which is equivalent to about $355 today. Um, but she talked about how much my dad loved that watch, how proud he was of that watch. And so as a five-year-old, I was so sad for my dad that he didn't have it anymore. And so I took it upon myself to go through the house looking for it. I probably spent about five minutes looking for it, to be honest. But uh, I, I was really sad that I couldn't find it for him. Uh, fast forward a few years later, I'm sitting on the sofa watching TV and the television remote fell into this random tear that the sofa had and uh, just like I had always done before I put my hand inside the sofa digging around for the remote and next thing you know I feel something um, rattling around and I immediately knew that it was this so I pull it out I'm ecstatic I yell out for my mom she's ecstatic and then that night when my dad got home from work I ran up to him showed him the watch and uh, being as hard of a man as he was, he, he tried his best to hide his emotions, but I could see how happy he was. And uh, the reason why this watch means so much to me is that I couldn't be there when he bought the watch. Uh, I wasn't even a part of his life when he decided to buy that watch. But from now on though, whenever he looks down at his wrists, when he looks at his nightstand and he sees this watch, um, I'd like to think that he thinks of me now because I'm the one that was able to reunite him with this very special Seiko Quartz watch.